You know, I think one overlooked element of peace building is um, is uh, relationships amongst uh, scientists. Uh, this may be a piece of the peace puzzle, but I think it's increasingly important and, and overlooked. Uh, when one is working in the area of global health, I mean, for example, I'm privileged to lead a global health center. It has 60 people in it. Most of them young people have been doing it for about 10 years. Let's say for the sake of argument, there's a couple of hundred young people that have passed through here. Many of them have been to low and middle income countries, have interacted with colleagues in low and middle income countries, have built relationships. I certainly know I have. That, those human relationships, that social capital, is a huge asset in uh, Canada's uh, quest for uh, peace building. When you think about the rebalancing of political and economic power in the world, uh, the rise of new entrants into the G20, for example, pre-existing relationships, if you ask yourself who has pre-existing relationships with, uh, with, uh, with people in India, people in China, people in Brazil, uh, and in other, uh, uh, in other countries, um, sometimes the answer to that question will be governmental officials, but more often it will be business people, people from universities, young people. And those human relationships are an incredible asset that Canada has. I'm not sure that we always leverage them, uh, those relationships, as effectively as we could. The other asset we have in Canada is our diasporic populations. I, I came to... Uh, my parents came to Canada from Eastern Europe in 1956, and uh, they were immigrants. And I, I was uh, actually born in 1960, so I was a Canadian citizen before they were. And there are many, uh, many diasporic populations in uh, Canada, from India, from China, from other places, that give us natural links uh, to other parts of the world. So whether it's our diasporic relationships, whether it's our scientific or other relationships, it's the people-to-people -people relationships that actually, um, I think, are the key uh, to truly building peace, uh, truly building peace and mutual understanding, which is a precondition for peace, uh, to truly building peace in the world.